Well, hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Me and the LP over here. What's that? Uh, dude, uh, I was expecting that little truck to fire up and run. Um, so we didn't put antifreeze in it. Cause we was going to run water, run water, keep flushing it out until the whole thing was clean. Now, they're talking ice tonight. Um, so we got to go out there and do something about getting some antifreeze in this thing, <laughs> or else we're going to end up with a crack block. Uh, even you got freeze plugs in there. Ninety percent of the time, freeze plugs don't push out. How and you like my new look? How you like it? It's a crib. <laughs> I thought I looked like a good biker. <laughs> <laughs> so we're playing with that. Take you along for the ride. What we done was took the thermostat out of it. Um, as y'all know, the carburetor's fried, so we're gonna sit out there and run it as long as we can. Turn it off, run it as long as we can. Turn it off, run it as long as we can, because that power steering pump pulley ain't cooperating. Hopefully, We'll get some antifreeze in this thing. So hang on, here we go. All right, we got our thermostat out. You put a gallon of antifreeze in here. Hopefully this thing, it will circulate. I mean, we still got to deal with that. So it's gonna be on off, on off, on off. But definitely don't need to let this thing sit here and freeze and bust, right? So here we go. All right, here we go again. Hang on. Dang it. I'm trying to I'm just open it. All right, go. So again, mistakes were made. Uh, watch that power steering pump pull. Circulate some antifreeze. Go for it, man. I'm telling you right now, man, that shaft and that thing wobbles like crazy. All right, we'll give her another shot. Neighbors are getting pissed at this point. 
Oh, they ain't. They just won't come up. Yeah, right. some soak uh, I think we run it long enough and we got steam coming out up here so we just hope this thing don't freeze and bust but let's get the car burner off here take it there and throw some clean let her soak for six to eight hours all right guys I'm telling you man if you ain't sitting next to this thing you can ask little Lars here that little fucker is Responsive to it right there with a wow. <laughs> shitty carb on it right now, but we got some. So. Yeah. So, <coughs> finish this video out. Let's uh, start taking that carburetor apart. Winter soap for a little while. Uh, yeah, because it's cold outside. Well, Lars, he, he was always in the truck. And yeah, starting that, I ain't got to feel it at the. He was out there messing with the. Throttle, he goes, holy crap, man. Uh, had to be that Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a Nissan. Oh, but no, it's, I think it's right there where we want it to be. All right, let's start taking this car butter apart. All right, guys, stay tuned for the next part. Uh, there's the main problem, and yeah, we're yeah. fixing to solve it. Yes, but, sir. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Lars got to hold that throttle. But, dude, the look on his face was priceless. Probably back to when I was a kid. <laughs> it was like, holy crap. I should have my bandana on. Uh, All that time and money. But just, man. She's going to be something. Yeah, it'll be a force to reckon with. If we can just put that power to the ground. There, uh, there in, in lies the problem. Yeah. Uh, but, hey, there you go. Next video is, let's clean the car, brother. Get it done. Yep. Get it on there. And uh, see what the hell happens. Yeah, I know what's going to happen. It's going to be an evil little engine. See, <laughs> he ain't got no words for comment. No, don't make me put my bandana back on. <laughs> we'll see y'all guys on the next one. Appreciate y'all watching. Yeah.